All right, last minute man here with Mr. Obvious. And the day has finally come. Today's the day. Today's the day, the biscuit bake off. So we're doing this kind of crudely. We're out here in the field. We're gonna do this on cast iron right over a fire. And uh, we got all of our stuff here. We're gonna start mixing it up. And uh, it's not a race. It's just uh, whose biscuits come out the best, you decide. Or actually the dog will decide, I guess. Yeah. She's gonna be the taste tester. Yeah, we get so. her to decide. All right, so here we go. I've got all my dry ingredients pre-mixed, and I believe uh, Mr. Obvious has done the same. All right. How come you brought all the fancy stuff? I need every advantage I can get. Well, I, I just brought a simple old paper plate. I mean, he, don't let him lie, he forgot his equipment. <laughs> hey, well, this is out in the, out in the field challenge, ain't it? <laughs> I mean, I, he came across these paper plates in nature. They just uh, grow randomly out here. I just hope the wind <laughs> don't blow too hard because all of my flowers gonna be out there in the field. Don't, don't worry, we, we brought don't, extra. Don't laugh at me. We brought, we brought extra. So, we got that, I'm adding my egg. Let me go get my milk and stuff. Boil some of this good stuff. This is a whole milk. <laughs> you use your whole milk, I'll use buttermilk. How about that? I did the buttermilk last time. Yeah. I'm going whole milk this time. And the other thing, I can't freeze my butter out here in the field. And excuse any noise you hear in the background. We are in the woods and there are other people around us uh, doing some farm work today. Even though it is Easter Sunday, you never stop working when you're a farmer. Unless you're me, then you just enjoy life. You using the same ingredients? I'm using the same ingredients I used in the previous video. How about yourself? Well, I already see you changed the buttermilk. Yeah, I, I use regular milk because uh, buttermilk's a little bit heavier, so lighter. We got a slower Dutch oven's going to be a little bit slower cooking, so I figured I'd swap to this and uh, kind of. Well, I figured it'd be a little. I kind of, this recipe, like I said, came from uh, Kent Rollins, who's uh, a chef on the on the YouTube here, and uh, he does this in a Dutch oven, so I'm kind of starting with a uh, tried and true method, so I figure why change it if it ain't broke, you know? Yeah. But, um, yep. It's good stuff here, though. And you know what, everybody? You got to enjoy life a little bit. You got to get out and, and make life a little more interesting than it has been. So, so you got to get out and do things like this and just have fun, you know? So I've got all my uh, butter crumbled in here, along with the egg. And now I'm adding buttermilk. I'm even gonna shake it up. You're making a lot of biscuits, ain't you? I'm doing the same recipe, same batch I did before. So we're doing one. Man, ain't like we're feeding an army out here. You know what though? We got a hungry dog over there. Oh, that's right. And uh, she eats a lot. She eats a lot of these biscuits. And you know what? Unlike other people's biscuits, mine are actually good the day after. <laughs> I'm just laying it on thick right now. <laughs> He's good at that. <laughs> I tell you. I just broke my spoon. I'm gonna have to go to His heaven. His biscuits are so hard the spoon broke. 
I'm going to heavy equipment. <laughs> <laughs> I got a cast iron one if you need it. Yeah. <laughs> you walked into that. <laughs> you walked right into it. Uh, oh, that's funny. Hey, we're get her done. Yes, sir. But, you know, I'm actually going to have to add more milk to this. I've got some right here, but I know you like your buttermilk. I like buttermilk. I do, too. Know? I don't like to drink it. Uh, I don't either. God, my dad loves to drink that stuff. I don't. My dad loved it, too. I... He'd drink the heck out of just regular buttermilk out of the cup. I'm like, man, I just... You know, there's probably some wisdom in that because of the lactose and whatnot. I don't know. Some internet. I think it's an that. age factor. Yeah. What this raised on. Yeah, it could be that. You got used to it. Heck, I don't know. All I know for sure is if over kneading this makes them tough, I ain't seen it. So <laughs> this stuff, this stuff for some reason. I mean, it just comes out good, and uh, I've had good luck with it. It's kind of like a bulletproof biscuit, I call it. It's gonna come out good every time, or it has so far. We'll see what happens today. See what happens in a Dutch oven anyway. Yeah, I mean, things change when you can't control the temperature as easy as you can on a, you know. Putting both of us to the test, so. Well, neither one of us has cooked on a Dutch oven. Uh, I've never done it, I've seen it done. Like I said, you know, my, my mother has done it successfully, and I'm actually using an old family Dutch oven that we've had since before I was born. And uh, I remember one year, uh, we had a big snowstorm here in Kentucky, and all the power went out. And my mom got this Dutch oven out and made us, uh, made us all biscuits in the fireplace. And uh, the power was only out for like a, a, an evening. It was out till like midnight or something. But mom made those. And I'll never forget that. It was so much fun. We all just gathered around there by the fire and you didn't have television or anything to distract you. And it was a good day. Well, I've cooked on a lot of cast iron out in the woods. We do squirrel and dumpling, stuff like that, fish fries, but actually the oven part, I've never done, so we'll see. You can see the winds blowing here. We're losing some dough or some flour. Hey, my dough looks like it's ready. What about yours? No, I'm still working on mine. Hey, I didn't say it's the quick biscuit. I said it's the good one. Okay, so here we go. Now, we're actually going to work this quite a bit. Always remember to keep plenty of flour on these. And you know... out here on a on a Mr. Obvious wanted to make friends with my dog Liberty so he brought some treats out here and I gotta tell him right now be sure not to feed her one of those biscuits if you want to make a friend of oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gonna, he's, he's gonna he's gonna whoop me here <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend one time I was singing and he said Anybody ever tell you it sounded like you swallowed an angel? I said, oh, thanks, man. He said, yeah, she's just screaming to get out. <laughs> so, you know, I can take as good as I can give. There you go. All right, so mine's ready. Yours ready? Mine's ready. So uh, give us a minute here. I'm going to cut these out, and I'm going to go get my uh, Dutch oven and place them in there. Be right back. Here we go, we're gonna put the biscuits in the Dutch oven and start the baking process. Layer of bread over here. See if we can't spoon some in here. It's pretty hot, so. Could have done it by hand, but I'm just gonna do the what little drop biscuit deal. Put them in here. And Kind of like the design, they come out kind of like a, a snowflake. Everyone's got its different shape. Eat 
biscuits old or swell up real good. Good biscuits. I did put a little lard in the bottom to help keep them from sticking a bit. Probably should have put some aluminum foil. Non-stick would have been real great. But we'll see how this works. We'll just keep an eye on it and go with it. Looking good there, Mr. Obvious. the last biscuit in here, scrape her up, all right, let's see what happens, you want to take a quick peek down inside here, you can't well, do. Go you go from we'll, that we'll get close, get the lid on, and how long do you think yours are going to take, I'm uh, probably about, Probably about 30, 35 minutes, I would imagine. All right. If we can get the temperature right. You 18 minutes in a stove, but when they say every time you remove that lid, you got to add five minutes because you lose your heat. So I don't know how true that is, but we'll find out. All right. All right. We have got last minute man here. He's uh, preparing his bed of coals. Bed of coals for his pan of biscuits now what's a little different between what i did and uh mr obvious is uh obviously mine aren't snowflakes they're circles and uh every one of them should be uniform in the same okay so what we're doing here putting coals on the top All right, now the thing about this is, it's a lot easier to add heat than it is to take heat away. So uh, I don't know exactly how long mine will take to cook. Um, my goal is to not overcook them. So I'm not looking for anything quick here. I'm not looking for uh, uh, the most expedient thing. What I'm looking for is perfection. And <laughs> we'll see how they come out. But, uh, yeah, I just put a few coals here at the bottom. I may have to add a few coals to the top of mine also here I'll in a little bit. I'll go ahead and add them. And uh, here we go. All right. Now, Mr. Obvious, you tell me when you think you got enough. That ought to do it. That ought to. Gotta keep her hot All for right. a while. Now, and, and something I want to point out. You want to keep your fire going. You don't know how many coals you're going to need or how much time it's going to take to do this. So I'm actually going to build this fire up a little better and uh, we'll, we'll make sure we've consistently got coals. So we'll uh, come back with uh, an update. We'll let you know how these are looking and hopefully both our biscuits come out great uh, and mine are just a little better. That's, that's what we're hoping. <laughs> All right, last minute man here with Mr. Obvious and we're going to check on these biscuits. It's been about 12 minutes. And uh, we're going to see how they're doing. So, uh, Mr. Obvious, if you would, uh, show me yours, then I'll show you mine. What, biscuits? Yeah, we're talking about biscuits here, brother. Oh, okay. A little messed up. Bring your camera over, Will. We'll need some, uh, take need, a peek at these biscuits. Need some Jesus. It's Easter Sunday. See what they're Come looking like. Come on now. Like. Right All right. Might have to get over here. Okay. Get a quick peek. Smoke's getting me. Ugh. Yeah, you know what? Wind and it's wearing me out. My grandmother used to say, uh, "Smoke follows beauty." You know. Yeah. You ready? Go on ahead. Better get over here closer. I'm. I Let's go see right, you. right here. Look at them. My biscuits are probably about done. I don't know about being done. Are those done? They're turning brown. I'm gonna have to get the heat out. Well, mercy. All right. Well, well, let's check on mine here. That's only been about 12 minutes. I found your stick. I found your stick. Oh. <laughs> well. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna frame here, or the biscuits are on frame, if you would, there, Mr. Obvious. Yep. So we're gonna check on these. 
I don't think mine are gonna be quite done yet, but let's get in here and they're fluffing up. Oh, they're, they're fluffing up, looking good. They're looking awful brown on the bottom. I might wanna take some heat away from the bottom. And, uh, what I'm gonna do with mine, I'm gonna get the heat away from the bottom. So, that's pretty good, the bottoms. So, uh, all right. Just keep those coals. I haven't had to add any new coals or anything to this, but uh, we'll come back and see shortly how it, how it looks. Well, I'll tell you, these things cooked up quick. Real quick. And uh, those are, they puffed up like a blowfish, I said. Yeah, I got the bottom and, a little bit too hot, but I was trying to stick, but I, I oiled the pan too. But just, well, and this is a fresh pan. It was pre-seasoned, but it's the first time you've cooked in it. Yep, first time. But man, those look a golden brown on the top and... Yeah. And uh, I'd have brought a spatula, I'd have been real good. Here, let me go get you that cast iron spoon. There you go, brother. Cast iron spoon. There you go. I don't know if that'll get her loose or not. If that don't get her loose, I got a diamond bit drill. We could, I believe this is better. <laughs> <laughs> No, actually those look good. Let's see the bottoms of them. They are a little charred on the bottom, yep. but you're gonna have that. And uh, he wanted to preheat it first and I, you know, mine probably not gonna come out any better. Still, this is the first time either one of us has done this, so. They said get aluminum foil. See where they wasn't as much heat on that one? Yep. On that side, the fire side's what got me a little bit too much heat, but uh, they're good other than that. They, they're looking good to me. So uh, we'll we'll wait on mine to get done here, and we'll uh, we'll check them out. Just give us another minute. Last minute, man, back again with Mr. Obvious, and uh, I just want to point out the obvious. My biscuits are still cooking, and he's already on his gravy. So uh, he's cooking us down some sausage. Liberty is uh, excited. But uh, we'll see how these biscuits come out. And uh, I have never myself had real sausage gravy. Have I, Mr. Obvious? Nope, but you're getting ready to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Real stuff. So, so here we go. And uh, I'll be checking on these here in just a minute. And uh, we'll see how they come out. All right, last minute man here, and my biscuits are done. And uh, we're gonna see how they scoop out of this pan. Uh, no foil or nothing. And you can see the bottom of my biscuits, they're a little more done than, whoo, than I'd have wanted them. But, man, I mean, they puffed up pretty good. Looking good there. Woo hoo hoo. Just have to learn how to control the heat with these Dutch ovens oh, on the man. bottom. I, mean, I don't see that. On a lot quick. Whoo, this hot! But golly, a lot quicker than I would have suspected. And uh, but man, these look good. I mean, we'll come up here close, and you can see these aren't terribly tarnished. But hey, there we go. We'll take it. All right, now uh, what I'm gonna do here next is uh, make some getta. I don't know if everybody knows what that is, but I do a little something different with my getta, and uh, I'm gonna throw that in here while he's making the sausage gravy. We'll be right back. Okay. Last minute man here with Mr. Obvious, and he's, uh, he's making the gravy, I'm making getta. <laughs> and I do something a little different. With my getta, I actually take about a half pound of getta and a half pound of uh, Weber sausage, and I mix it together. To me, that's really the only way to eat getta, and uh, people uh, 
people love their getta. You know, I mean, heck, up north they got a getta fest and everything yeah. else. But you know, uh, myself, this is the only way I've ever been able to enjoy it. Um, I'm looking forward to this gravy. Now, I gotta tell you a little story. When I was a kid, my dad was a health nut. And uh, he never would eat biscuits and gravy. Now, like every Sunday, my mom would make biscuits and gravy. But me being a little boy growing up, dad never would touch biscuits and gravy. So I always thought, well, maybe guys aren't supposed to eat biscuits and gravy. So my sisters and my mom, they'd all enjoy these biscuits and gravy, but I never even tried them. It wasn't until years later that I realized that uh, guys can eat biscuits and gravy. <laughs> but at that time, I was uh, conscious about my own weight and health. So I said, well, why spoil a good thing? You know, if I eat them, it might be like crack or something. You know, I might get addicted. So I never would eat it. So here I am, uh, 37 years old, and I've still never had biscuits and gravy. And uh, Mr. Obvious said that's something we have to remedy today. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. I'm kind of scared, you know, it might open up a Pandora's box and we don't know what'll happen. The next time you see me, I might be 400 pounds, but uh, we'll find out. But anyway, so stick with us. All right, now Mr. Obvious is mixing up his uh, gravy concoction. This is kind of like alchemy, you know. Taking, taking sausage and turning it to gold. Yeah, man. This is going to be some good eating right here in a little bit. Fry this up. Get that good and brown. We'll get that flour good and brown. Then we'll uh, fill her up there with this milk. And we'll cook it and cook it and cook it till it gets to the right thickness. And we'll have her. It's looking good there, brother. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. You need more flour? No. I got just enough. And he's got that uh, big tub of lard there. Tell him why we don't cook with vegetable oil, Mr. Obvious. Uh, that stuff will kill you. <laughs> vegetable oil, uh, man-made synthetic oils, they go in your body, they get in your veins and stuff. It don't come out. It stays there. So you get the artery build up and all that stuff. So it works great in the car, not in your body. Yeah, exactly. So we go just regular lard. This stuff. Hey, look, look, look. Hold that up again. What does that say right there? Lard, lard baby. Yeah. <laughs> that stuff goes in your body. You can sweat it back out of your body. Them, them, some that man-made oils won't. They go in your body and they don't want to come out. So, cook with the good stuff. The way Jesus intended. Exactly. Amen. All right, we've added the milk to the gravy. After we cooked her down and got it good and brown, we're just going to let it simmer and just slowly stir it every once in a while and let her thicken up. We'll have some good old sausage gravy here directly. Got her moved around on some good hot coals. Looking good. It's gonna take a little bit. Just gotta get that good and hot. All right. Last minute man here with Mr. Obvious. And we are going to uh, do a taste test of the biscuits. Now, obviously neither one of us can be uh, completely I'm biased and I don't think the dog can either but we're we're, we're gonna try I, she has today come to love mr. obvious but anyway come here Liberty come here we're gonna look at each of these biscuits go ahead and pull out one of yours about this big old fat cat head biscuit all right now open these up okay Liberty, come here. Ray, you want to let her taste yours first or mine? She won't take my finger off, will she? Well, you got to throw it. Oh, good catch. What do you think about that, baby? 
All right, come here. Ready? Okay. Right. I don't know. She seemed to like them both. Yeah. So let's try them at the same time, right? We're going to throw them in the air at the same time. Right? Yep. One, two, three. Well, she went for my biscuit, but I don't know what that tells us. She likes him better. You decide. Go at home. You guys try this. Try it in an oven. I would recommend it's a lot easier. The one thing we've learned today is that neither one of us are experts with a uh, Dutch oven. I'd have to agree with that. All right. So now let's taste each other's biscuit. It's not going to be like a wedding thing. I'm not going to feed you. You feed me. Yeah. I mean, that's just gay. Yeah. But, well, <laughs> go ahead and. Go ahead and pull you off some. We'll try mine first. A little heavier than what I'm used to, but good. More like a cake. Yeah. It's what I call a standalone biscuit. I'd say my gravy over top of this to make this excellent. Now let's try yours. Pull one apart here. Well, I'll do this. Now, these are fluffy. These are fluffy and light. This is uh, traditionally what I'm used to. I'll tell you what it reminds me of a lot is if you ever been to Red Lobster and you tried the drop biscuits, it's a lot like those. It's it's airy, light, fluffy. They are good. I mean, they are really good. Yeah, we get gravy on it. That's when they are real good. I love biscuits and gravy. That's well, this, this is, if I was going to say anything, this is more like a scone that I've made. And what he's done is more of a traditional biscuit. I mean, from, from you know, anything I've ever had. So... It's uh, it's a little different, but uh, we'll we'll try some gravy on them, and and uh, we'll try some getta here also, and uh, we'll yeah. have us a meal. We'll let you know how it turns out. I can tell you this, uh, I wouldn't be upset eating either one of these biscuits. No. Be honest with you, those are a little more airy and lighter. They are. Just old homemade cat hip biscuit. Yes. Yeah. So. Nothing uh, fancy special. And, and the, the amount of prep time it takes for these and everything else, it's, it is a lot more. And uh, it's, it's just a, a different kind of texture, consistency. Yep. They're both good. So we'll be right back and we'll be uh, eating some uh, gravy. This will be my first time. I'm either going to love it or I'm going to hate it. We'll see what happens. Bring that over here and sit. Well, last minute, man. What do you think about them biscuits? I'm never going back. He's never going back. Be able to slow down on eating there a little bit, hadn't he? <laughs> it's gonna be good stuff. It's good. All right, everybody. So this concludes the biscuit bake off. And again, try them yourself. Uh, we had a good time here today. It's Easter Sunday, and we were blessed with just beautiful, beautiful weather. Uh, you know, Mr. Obvious, is there anything you want to add? Nope, we had fun today. Y'all get your grills out, get your kittles out, your Dutch ovens out, and get out and have fun. Have, it's a good day to do it. It's, have fun with your family, you know, and, and enjoy each other. And uh, just remember, always, always, always keep your knives sharp and keep your powder dry. And subscribe to Last Minute Man.